What is going on, you guys? Bonfire fishing here. And we're back at the pond doing some more bass fishing. So I actually got a um, little jerk bait by Rapala. It's called a ripstop. So I'm gonna give this thing a cast around for a little bit. Maybe hope I'd be able to get a bass or two today. I have no idea how this thing's gonna be fishing. I'm taking it as a jerk bait. So I'm gonna try it as the jerk bait. Casting off the close next to this brush pile. I already hooked up onto it twice today. So I'm gonna try to work it right next to the brush pile instead. Maybe drag out a bass or even a crappie out of here. Take one more cast in over there, then I'm gonna work my way back on over towards the back. All right, y'all. I made it on the back, on over to the back of the lake. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything on this thing right now. Never, no matter how hard I try to use a jerk bait presentation out here, I can never seem to get a bass out here on a jerk bait. No matter how hard I try. I, the action of just reeling it in looks pretty good. It looks like it'll attract a bass any day. But I can't get a bite. I hate this right now. <laughs> Even though I just started it today. I like to get a bass early up onto the board. <sighs> what, the, what the crap is this? Are they going after this little grasshopper on top of the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. A little bluegill just came up after this guy. All right, guys. I got a new rail trap on. This is a 3 8 ounce. What I like from last time, regular call. Talk to you guys after I tie this thing on. Alrighty, guys. I got Mr. Red Rattle Trapper on. I don't know. I really think they're on the bottom. Or they just could be out there a little bit way spawning for some reason in the deep. But I don't get it. It's like, why are they spawning so deep? Because of weather. Uh, is this the freaking snag I just got caught up on earlier? And sna <laughs> What's out there? This is the same spot. <laughs> this is the exact same spot. There we go. It's a branch that's under there. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, guys, I'm at the ramp now. You know, maybe, maybe I might be able to smack a bass right up here. You know, in almost every video, I, or the couple videos that I posted, right here in this one spot, I've been catching most of my bass. I think two videos now, I had a bass come from right here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's two videos now. So, I got a nice crappie right here. I snagged this dude. This dude's big. This is a big crappie. Oh, I snagged him. I'm still gonna take this as a catch though. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, this is a keeper size. Ooh, guys. This is a nice little chunker. Like, I snagged it, dude. I feel like I cheated. I don't feel like this should count as a catch. But a catch is a catch when we're not tournament fishing. So, to me, right now, this is a catch. Oh, I can feel his tongue. His tongue's moving with my on my finger. Okay, come on, dude. Last hook right here. Got them all in these scales. I don't like this. There we go. It's a nice little slab. He's a, he's a good little nine, ten incher. That's it. That's an eater. I'll release you. Don't worry. Talk to you later, bro. Woo! Fish number one for today. Uh.
I'm not going after crappie, but hey, a crappie's a crappie. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the crappie, mainly that, mainly that size on a rattle trap like this. And crappie's actually one of the number one food sources that a bass would eat over a bluegill. A crappie? Yeah. That's why um, whenever you see these little fish jumping up and they look like shining a little bit, they're the crappie and not the bluegill. The bluegill is what the uh, catfish eat. And bass will eat the bluegill too. Alrighty guys, I'm out in the back now. Dang, I'm hitting the grass already. Or the bottom. Which I look like, I don't mind. Until I get all this. Then I'm not happy. Okay y'all. I am tying on a jig right now. This is a pretty nice jig. It's actually a bitsy bug. You guys ever heard of them? Then I have one of Carl's amazing baits that I got in a mystery tackle box. And I'm going to be using it as a trailer for today. On it. See, there we go. Push that up. That looks good enough to me. Got him, guys. Oh, that's a catfish. That was a catfish. That was a catfish. Oh, guys. If you guys seen that, I think that was a catfish. That was a really big catfish. I don't think that was a bass. Let's see if he'll come back at it again. Just from the tail of it, the color. I did not. I don't. I didn't see any green. And it was like a skinny, long thing. So that's a catfish. Dang, we got clouds rolling in. Looks like the storm's heading. Oh, I found the brush pile. I might snap off. There we go. I got it. Whew. I'm lucky. I was actually wondering why in that crap that this fence is put up. By the tree. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's a goose over there that has eggs. That's probably why it's all gated off. It's because this goose is nesting right over here. So, since it's like that right now, I will not bother it because if we can get some baby geese up in here. I love to bring my my um, duck lure by Savage Gear, Suicide Duck. I love to bring that thing out here and use it and hopefully catch like a 10 pounder. Let's just imagine, imagine catching a 10 pounder. Hey guys, I'm back with a new lure. I got this little fluorescent minnow here. So I was standing right on over here and I took as far as I guess I could with my jig earlier and that thing just went flying off. So I just lost the lure. Okay guys, this guy's really big. This is a really big wax that I got on. Yep. Oh! This thing was like six pounds! Thing was huge! No oh, guys. I should have just fought him. I shouldn't have been messing with them oh, brush pile oh, I'm trying to snap off Lost it. 
I'm not so much loot on there. I'll talk to you guys later. Tie something else on.